I see myself as a really casual Magic the Gathering player. I still play it a lot and think about it a lot, but the way I play it is super casual. Casual enough I don't need to see what the new meta is, but I still like a really explosive game. This is why I love Commander. It gives me just that. I can do my own thing, make a couple of big plays, win a couple of games, but at the end of the day, if I don't win, that doesn't really change my attitude. I'm just as happy to see someone else pull something off goofy in my pod than I am to do it myself. Now, Commander is just such a big format and it's such a personal experience. These decks are 100 cards. You're bound to have a few niche cards in there that someone else with the same build just wouldn't run. But as it has become so big and gained so much support from Wizards of the Coast, it's become the face of Magic the Gathering. And we're seeing it branch off into many different flavors. Like a few people might remember Tiny Leaders, which was a format based off of Commander, except you had smaller decks and your whole deck couldn't be more than 3 mana. More recently there was Oathbreaker, which was meant for faster games. You had a smaller deck and a lower life total to start, but you got to use a signature spell and a Commander. And even in Commander there's the whole idea of Rule Zero. If you want to make special house rules, you can. All of these formats seem super fun, but without the support of Wizards of the Coast, they won't survive that long. One format that seems to be sticking around is CEDH, which is Competitive Commander. There aren't even necessary physical distinctions between CEDH and regular Commander. You can sit at a table full of regular Commander decks and whip out a CEDH deck and still play. You probably shouldn't, everyone will hate you and you won't be asked back. But you can. But this offers an interesting debate that was sparked on Twitter by a friend of the show Hexproof Harry when he asked if you put Dockside Extortionist in a deck, does it stop being casual? I think this is a very interesting question. When does casual stop being casual and start being competitive? Now Dockside Extortionist is almost exclusively a competitive card. It's sitting at 70 bucks. But if I take it and put it into my random Perforos deck, does that make it competitive? I'll let you come to your own conclusions, but here is mine, and I share it with many people in the Magic community. Competitive is more of a mindset than it is a deck type. Let me break that down. If you're not trying to combo out by turn 3 or win as fast as you can, it doesn't matter what's in your deck. If you're not playing a deck with each card going into it because it's peak performance, if you have room for pet cards, or other cards that you have them in there just because they were lying around, it isn't competitive. If you're trying to win as fast as possible, and you're at least trying to play competitively, whether your deck complies or not, you're competitive. Now I understand the counter side to this argument. You might be saying, Harrison, I'm not trying to win by turn 3, but my deck can just do it. Well that's where this middle ground comes in. And perhaps the chart will help me get my point across. Every deck fits into one of these four categories. If it can combo off and win early and you want it to win early, it's competitive. Plain and simple. If it can't but wants to, it is competitive. It's just not as powerful as its peers. If it doesn't want to and it can't, well easy enough it isn't competitive. It's both here for a good time and a long time. If it doesn't want to win early but it still can, it's casual. That's where I'd put a random casual deck with Dockside Extortionist. It's powerful, but power is the deck's attribute, and competitive is the player's attitude. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you think about CEDH? Are you playing CEDH? I'd be really interested to hear what you have to say. I like these types of videos philosophizing about magic, and Commander too, and I might make more videos in this vein soon. We're in this purgatory between sets, so I have to get more creative with the videos I make, and it's not just deck techs all the time. So you can expect more of these. Before I sign off, I am giving away a Slivdrazi Monstrosity at 3,000 subscribers. We're about a month away from crossing that threshold, so make sure you subscribe and tell a friend. So CEDH, what do you think? If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more Commander content. If you made it this far, thanks for watching, it means a lot. To prove it to me and everyone else, comment, the extortionist doesn't have extort. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to bolt your birds.